Anna. And I'm Jessica. And we are coming to you from Arkansas Yarn Company here in Melbourne, Arkansas. So, ladies. So, buttons. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's been two weeks since we saw y'all and we missed you. We've had a lot of things that have happened. So much stuff. And not nearly enough knitting. That's true. I have knitting. I finished knitting. <laughs> I finished knitting. A she project. did finish something. Oh, yes. You did. I finished it. What'd you finish? So, my friend Jenny over at Wanded by 27 on Instagram, she had a test knit and uh, she let me test knit it. So, I just finished. I think you might need to. Yeah. I just finished this test knit. That is a good choice in palm. It is a good choice in palm. And um, isn't that pretty? It's That's so, beautiful. so, so gorgeous. Um, it is. And I think it's called uh, Tentacular. Is that, yes. is that right? Yes. Tentacular? Tentacular. And so I dyed yarn just for this test knit. Ooh, that feels so nice. This is, can you, would you, should, please? <laughs> Look at that. That's called On the Bright Side. And I love it because it's neon, it's some neon green, some neon pink, some uh, bright pops of turquoise, and uh, some purple. And it just makes me super happy. And so I enjoyed, I enjoyed that project. I feel like it really showcases the stitch pattern. So Quite I well. did do it on my yummy worsted and which is, it's almost technically an Aran weight, um, but it's, but it's a thin Aran. So it really works well as a worsted weight. And it is, I love this yarn so much. It's unbelievably, you look like you have a little pixie. <laughs> it's, it is a really, 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 um, I love it. <laughs> Are you going to wear it? <laughs> it's tempting. I'd probably cook, but it accommodates probably... my little whatever that thing was up there. Your floof? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, there's still a floof. <laughs> I think I'll try it on. I haven't tried it on yet. It is cozy. I like that. Oh, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. I love it. The pattern is a lot of fun. If uh, y'all have to go and get this hat pattern when it's released, I think it's going to be released on the seventeenth. So, um, just in time. It's gorgeous. Yes. So Winter. I didn't get a lot of other knitting done, but um, got this finished. Good. It's pretty. Um, I it is have, pretty. I have a finished object. Um, now granted I still need to weave in the ends and some people don't feel like that is finished. No, it's totally finished. Um, <laughs> if it's not on your needle, it's done. But I did finish my, um, Kraken cowl. Um, it's so pretty. The designer on, uh, Ravelry, she goes by, um, Hunt Hand Knits. Um, but on Ravel, or on, uh, Instagram, she's Yarn Obsessed Mary. Um, it's and this so good. Out so good. I love that you can see the ship. It's slightly darker than the Kraken itself. Um, and then we ended up doing the new um, Seattle Kraken hockey team colors as, a great as the base. It looks this. so good. Um, and it it's beautiful. I love it. It's such I, a nice deep cowl too. I like the um, different colors ship. Yes. It, so the ship we did in my cast iron skillet, and then uh, the rest of it was I dyed special for this project, which I think we're gonna. Are we gonna keep that up? I think we are. Um, Y'all, this is so beautiful. If you have a Kraken fan, this is a great project for that. I think it's really? great. The um, but the kits, the kits we have are uh, just the, the the icy blue and the navy blue. Right, but I think that we should put some red and some black in there with them so that they can have the entire kit. Um, your hair looks cute today. Thank you. Yeah, it does. 
Anna decided when I asked her to braid my hair <laughs> that she was going to put it into side buns. Um, but then you took it out. Well, yes, because did. they were here. I really figured you would be the one that take them out. <laughs> but um, so I just moved them up to little space buns, which this is the first time I've put my hair up in space buns because before my hair was too thick. I wonder if that would look cute on me. Probably. <laughs> space buns you are have for way everyone. more hair than I do. I do. Um, but space buns doesn't always look great with like tons of hair. Mine would be teeny little bitty knobbies. They would be like purples. That's mine. Yeah. Like Do you have my, longer hair? My regular bun looks like a little tiny dog. Is that why you put it on the Oh, it does not. <laughs> no, it does not. Like a chihuahua. <laughs> Came along. No, it does not. No, it does not. So, what do y'all have on your needles? Um, well, right now I'm working on a sock for Lucas. Um, I finished the other one um, last weekend. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this past weekend, uh, before the weekend started, I did the other one um, from start to finish. Um, I still need to weave in the ends. I didn't weave in the ends because um, Lucas wasn't sure. I wasn't sure how it was gonna fit Lucas. He didn't like the way that the first pair that I made him fit. Um, they were too loose. And um, so I had him try on one of my 64 stitch socks because I did a 68 stitch sock the first time. Um, so I had him try on one of my 64 stitch socks and he still felt that that was a little too loose. So I knit him a 60 stitch sock on size ones. And he likes the way that this fits. So I went ahead and started the other one. Um, started this on Friday. Um, and didn't really pick it up over the weekend because I was working on his sweater, his Christmas sweater, mm -hmm. um, which I got a lot of that worked on. Um, it looks like a sweater. Yeah, it's starting to look <laughs> like a sweater. The sleeves are attached <laughs> to everything. Um, so I started working on this last night. I did my heel flap and heel turn and picked up the gusset. And then today I got about this much knitting done. <laughs> because I had a really long That was meeting. a long class. <laughs> really long meeting to go to. So I just knit through the whole thing. Oh, I have that meeting to go to at seven tonight. Yeah, you do. It oh, won't be as I was long. wondering what I was gonna do to kill time, but um, yeah, now I are. don't have to kill time that much because we're doing this. Yeah. yeah. Um, are we showing our West knits at the end or is it okay to go ahead and do spoilers now? It, the elm cow is over, so you can do spoilers. I mean, we're far behind, so yeah, I don't think it'll matter. matter. I think y'all, it's it's acceptable now. Okay. You don't have to do spoiler alerts anymore because the the knit along is over. So I am it's still ended. on clue three. Mm -hmm. um, I am on my X's, my elongated X's here. So pretty. Um, I'm like halfway through the round, the row doing those. They take a while. Um, but this is mine so far. I love it. It's coming along. I love it. I like the brioche. I am going to do um, the border on it, um, the optional clue four border. Um, I am going to do that, although there was a lady on Instagram I saw who altered hers and I think I'm gonna do her alteration. Is that the one where it looks like a oh, scallop? Yes. I yeah. think that one is beautiful. I think that's it looks the really one nice. I would do if I were doing mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. That's the one I I want to do. Um, so I like that look. I saw uh, Luann um, she chose to do the not brioche. The mesh. Did yeah. She, mm -hmm. she um, did. And it looks really neat. Oh it's really pretty. So I do think that it was nice that he gave a different option yeah. other than garter because usually when he has a brioche so option, um, he generally does a garter option in its place. And I think that the mesh was a nice change. I'm thinking and it about makes it doing unique. It. I think you should. I, I've never done a brioche before and I figured, okay, I might as well. But when I saw the, the mesh part, I'm like, I kind of dig that a bit more than brioche. Yeah. 
I think that it will open it up a lot more. I Probably. think you have the option of that shawl being substantially bigger because you're choosing the well, mesh because that section will stretch out more. Seeing as mine last year was substantially larger. <laughs> I was just thinking, I have to have a fighting chance. Yeah. That's not a contest, ladies. No, it's not. No, but if you're not planning to win, why are you playing? Are we going to show yours? Yes. Okay, so I... Because I love yours. I am not far into mine. Yours looks nice. But here is still section two. I am getting ready to go into the short rows. Um, I finished the first bobble portion. Yes. Um, I just haven't done the wrong side row yet. I mean, it's so pretty. So that is where I am. Oh, I dropped this off the needles. Just kidding. <laughs> well, I just about did the same on my side. So <laughs> I shouldn't <laughs> joke about that. <laughs> Karma. <You're> right? <laughs> I love, I love Levi this. Island. That's so pretty. I really like the blue and pink together. Yeah, I really like that um, neon green and the uh, tealy blue. Mm. Um, the triangles? Yes. I like that yeah. section too. Bless, Bless you. you. Thank you. I think that that yeah. turned out really fun. It's nice and bright. The whole thing I is I love nice how vibrant bright. it is. Oh, it's extremely vibrant. I think I it's going to be it. the brightest piece of anything that you have. I, I think love so. it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gorgeous. I love, love, love it. I do too. It's so pretty. I kind of, um, so. I wish the, you had done the bubbles in uh, mohair as well. I really, so I wasn't entirely sure how these bobbles were going to go, but. They're basically worked like an I-cord. Yeah. Like a five stitch I-cord and then you just mm -hmm. decrease it down to one. It's so pretty. So I didn't mind that, but no. it took a little while. I it mean, does. it does. It takes a little while, but it was definitely one of the easier bobble mm -hmm. instructions that I've made. Yeah. And, it, and it's a large bobble. It's not a it small is. bobble. I like them. They looks good. It pulls it out. Looks good. It it's does. kind of my favorite part. It yeah. I this mean, is this is definitely one of those shawls with all the textures that are in it that you don't want to overly block because you are going to lose some of the mm. parts that are poking out, like the the I cord loops and the welts and the bobbles. Okay, you keep yours under block. Yeah, we're blocking the crap out of Anna's. <laughs> Anna wants it to be bigger than yours. I so I also went up a needle size. Oh, hope you don't run out of yarn. No, you're not gonna run out of yarn. No, he said there was plenty of yarn left. Yeah. So are you doing a five or a four? I am on a four. Did I cut a needle? What size Surely needle not. did you do? A five. five. I scuffed a needle. Interesting. I wonder how that happened. I don't know. I'm going to blame it on a little cat. You okay. should. That thing is sharp and pointy. So, I'm still stuck on Sleeve Island. But, I've made progress. I was going to say, it looks like you've made some progress. I have made a lot of progress, and it actually is right at the bend in my elbow now. And I have less stitches, so I'm thinking the rest is going to be smooth sailing. Um, I'm super happy with the way the sweater looks. I can't wait to wear it. So it's gonna be lovely. I want to get it. I, I'm motivated to get it finished again. I was super motivated on this when I went to the beach. Did your motivation pick up when you realized that it was time to sew up the sides of your sweater? <laughs> <laughs> Which I still have to sew the sides of the sweater, but. Um, well, sort of the motivation left me when I had the incident at the house. Yeah. Oh, the incident. There was a situation. <laughs> you you want to know about it? Yes. <laughs> Is this a good time to talk about it? I think the good is all to hear about your um, <laughs> situation. Smell problem. It was a situation. <laughs> Here's what happened. Um. So I was sitting on the sofa, knitting this, watching TV. Scott and I were no, watching something. I think it was the night that we recorded last It podcast. was. It absolutely was. Because yeah. then it, it was absolutely the very next was. day. Yes. And we were like, well, that happened a day late. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so 
uh, and then we went we went to bed and while we were watching TV uh, it was Monday night it was a Monday night because our our secret is we like to watch the voice and <laughs> we like to watch the voice Scott and that's the only show we watch together is the voice and it was Monday night and we were watching the voice and all of a sudden Molly goes like crazy dog she hopped up off the sofa and she's barking 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 she runs to her dog door you hear it go up she runs out and she didn't come back and so the voice was over and normally i would stay up and knit a couple more rows and i went to bed with him and i was literally just closing my eyes and <laughs> And I, and I sleep with the earplugs in also. And so I, I literally was just, just almost asleep. And there was this, hmm, hmm. And here we are. And then all of a sudden I hear this, <laughs> and it stunk like skunk. Molly, Right when she right when she comes in her door is her water dish. She drained that water dish, y'all. I mean, she drained that water dish. She burped because she was trying to she took that she drank all that water trying to get that taste out of her mouth. And then and then she comes under our bed. She likes to sleep under our bed. And she gets under our bed and belches. And it literally smells like the skunk sprayed us. And we hop out of bed. You know, the kind of hop out of bed that you do when you hear the dog about to throw up. That kind of hop out of the bed. And oh my gosh, my house stunk so bad. Seriously, my house stunk so bad. I immediately send a message to the girls and I'm like, I am going to be late tomorrow or not at all because my entire house not at all. stinks. Not at all. Every, so there was, so also she's a sharp hay, so she's got a great big mouth and it's drippy. So she has dripped skunk stink all over my the entire house. It was so disgusting. I still smell skunk. My dog still smells like skunk. I cannot get the smell off of her. The next day, the next day, I spent all day long mopping. Mopping. Constantly. Do a couple mops, change the water. A couple mops, change the water. I mean, it's disgusting. God, I, I have never had this happen. It was so bad. And it had to happen and then, to you. And then, well, of course. <laughs> so also, sharp haze don't like water. So I had to put a leash on her and walk her down the hallway to put her in our shower. It was a 30 minute shower. It was a 30 minute shower because, you know, I had to make that concoction of um, Cider. Dawn. No, I, I did Dawn, white vinegar, and baking soda. And then it set on her for 30 minutes. So the entire time, I'm like rubbing her with it because I don't want her to feel like I'm mad at her. <laughs> so I couldn't just, I couldn't, I just couldn't, couldn't stand just the smell of her. her in there. So, so now guess what happens? The backs of my legs get cramps in them because my legs aren't used to being bent over like that for 30 <laughs> minutes at a time. Oh my gosh. It was, it was awful. I mean, awful. She still smells like skunk and I cannot get the smell out of my house. It, I cannot, was, a, it was a whole ordeal. It, I, so my mother-in-law has a rainbow vacuum cleaner and for, for this entire time, for two weeks now, I have ran, I have run the, um, you can run it without a hose on it and it's supposed to purify the air. I have been running it non-stop, but I cannot get the skunk smell off of my dog. I just can't. Tomato juice, tomato juice does not work. Um, there, I can't, I don't know what to do about it, but she still smells. And you know, at first I was thinking, oh, maybe she will smell like puppy breath. <laughs> no, she smells like right up in the skunk's butt. <laughs> it's 
she bad. probably was right up in the skunk's butt. I'm fairly certain because when she burped, it smelled just like we got sprayed. It, I had to wash all the bedding. I had, I mean, it it has been awful. It's been awful. What were yeah. some ways you guys tried to get it out of the house, like other than mopping? What other options are there? Um, she wants to know about the whole home fan. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, she's trying to get somebody in trouble is what she's doing. <laughs> she's trying to get Scott in trouble because here's what happened. In addition to, well, you can't open the windows because it stinks outside. We turn the fans on. So I have all of these fans. I have uh, 30 foot ceilings. And we have these big long fans that drop down and they're metal. I turned them on. They sound like a freaking airplane is in my living room. It's, they're so loud. My husband turns on the whole house fan through our air conditioning system, you know, so it can get filtered air. So, and then he, so I choose to sleep upstairs in one of the bedrooms he closes the closet door so that his clothes, our clothes, but his clothes don't smell like skunk the next day. So then we had a conversation at midnight about how many people have climate controlled closets. <laughs> I have a bin in my closet. So when I go in there the next morning, guess what it smells like? Skunk. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that a skunk smell is going to be stuck in there if the door is closed. But most people don't do, have closets. closets. Do y'all have vents in your closet? So I think that they half don't. Of the no. people at Knit Night did. No, nobody no. at Knit Night had one. Oh, because the one someone had called their spouse to, to check. double check. Yeah, oh, okay. older homes don't. Yeah, older homes don't. And y'all have older homes. Mm -hmm. I have, a, I have an air conditioning vent in my closet. Well, it is climate controlled in my closet. Her closet is like the size of a small bedroom. Bedroom. So, of course, you it could easily is. fit a twin size bed in your yeah. closet. If with they a, have with two one size table. company, they can shove a cot in their oh, closet. For sure. Although, Cotter it wouldn't too. be the first time that that has happened in an old home that we did use to live in. Um, in fact, at least a couple of them I've slept in your closet <laughs> when company has come over. <laughs> that might be true. <laughs> at least a couple of homes that we've lived in. And weren't you glad there was air conditioning? <laughs> there you go. You're I welcome. I don't know that my <laughs> seven-year-old self would have realized that. Oh, if it were hot, it would have. <laughs> I feel like I would have taken all of mommy and daddy's clothes down, put them on the floor, and been like, I'm having a little party. <laughs> she wouldn't have done that. She totally would not have done that, because if she had done that... But I like how you're distracting <laughs> me from my tangent about my husband and the that genius I'm starting on. Yeah. Scott, when you're watching this with me, it's not my fault. It's Anna. Anna brought it up. Anna, Anna made me talk about it. Um, <laughs> well, you had me. a dog ordeal over the last two weeks. Oh, I, I you also, had one too. I also had a dog ordeal. I'm wondering, do we have a full moon? I don't know. There's something coming up. Um, or maybe that was... But the, just as is a scary dog one. Yes. It's, yeah. <laughs> it, it was. It's a little funny, too. Well, the days after you have not heard about. Oh. <laughs> um, That's probably a good thing. So, Lucas likes to buy holiday candy. Um, and so he bought some Christmas candy for us because it was it was the Reese's clusters and the white Reese's trees. So the good kind. Yes. Reese's clusters. Yeah, so they're I like think we've had that. They're like little individually. Oh, wrapped. why don't you bring us some? They've got peanuts <laughs> and caramel and <laughs> the chocolate and peanut butter and all of that. Um, well so there was another, there was also the little Hershey's kiss, Kisses. Um, mm -hmm. They were the Grinch themed bag, so all of the little uh, tin foil wrappers had something Grinch themed on them. Oh. Yes. Oh. Your um, favorite green. 
Yes. Well, um, when well, we bought this candy, we opened two bags of it, um, and one bag was left unopened. Um, and all of these candies were individually wrapped in the bags. Um, so for like stocking stuffer type things. And so we left. Is that what you were, your intention was to use it as stocking stuffers or no. to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's me too. Um, so uh, we, Lucas was staying home the next day and I came to work. Yeah. Um, it was a Tuesday, I think last week and so Lucas went to work or Lucas stayed home I went to work and then while I was while I was at work Lucas went to run errands when he came back I got a phone call that said did you put the candy away and I said no I didn't put the candy away it should still be on the floor in the box where you left it he said it's in the box on the floor. <laughs> That's how you said it. Yeah. Because I was standing next to her. Um, and he's like, no, seriously, did you put the candy away? And I was like, no, I didn't put the candy away. Why would I put the, why, I, I, why would I put the candy away? I'm thinking while she's having this conversation, I bet the little one did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so then I get well there's no wrappers on the floor and the bags that had the candy in them were ripped open and ripped there's no open. candy and left. there's no candy left no sign. none chocolate no sign of any of the chocolate anywhere the grinch ended <laughs> and even even the one unopened bag was ripped open and none of the candy was in it. The bags so, were there. The bags were there. The, the outer candy, bag. All the, the candy and the wrappers <laughs> that the candy was wrapped in were gone. Vanished. Vanished. So <laughs> Lucas is freaking out. As he should have been. Because, because dogs, we, we all know dogs are allergic to chocolate and it can kill them and it can poison them and kill them. And so he's like, well, do I need to rush them over to the vet? Because we live right next they door. They live to next vet. door. Yeah. <laughs> we live right next door to the vet. So he's like, do I need to run do I need to run them to vet? And so my mom was pulling up on her phone that you could get the dogs to throw up with hydrogen peroxide. And so he went over to the vet, not with the dogs, just by himself. And he went over to the vet it's and they literally said, right next door. Yeah. They told him that it shouldn't be a big deal. The, the real chocolate to keep an eye on is dark chocolate or baking chocolate, particularly in powder form. Um, so it just so happens that she had a dark chocolate bar. I did. Partially eaten on the table. Yeah. So that was also gone. So they told him to mix 3% uh, hydrogen peroxide with some wet food. Um, to get them to eat it, to, to ingest it, and it would make them throw up. And we had just purchased a bottle of liquid children's Benadryl for one of the dogs. And with that, we got one of those little needleless syringes. Um, and so Lucas took the syringe and went straight into the hydrogen peroxide and pulled it out and squirted it directly into their mouths. <laughs> I thought he put it in the food. No. <laughs> so he didn't even listen to what the vet said. No. <laughs> he was a quick action kind of. So he squirts it directly into their mouths and he's like within two minutes he they are it. hacking. They didn't even have time to get them outside. No, he didn't even have time to get them outside, and they were hacking, and so he did. But he found the wrappers. No, no, none of no. them came up. Oh. None of the wrappers. I mean, you could see the chocolate. Oh, my God. There was a picture he sent me. You could see the chocolate. Well, I'm glad you didn't show me that. I almost showed it to Anna, but she said she didn't want to see it either. <laughs> Who shows people this? this things? Um, well, he sent me a picture of it. Uh, so then for, for two days, we didn't see 
any wrappers or foil, any plastic wrappers or foil, out of their mouth or out of their butts. <laughs> you mean in the yard? Just in the yard. Well, yeah. <laughs> Nowhere. They well, vanished. <laughs> well, uh, Harley did end up uh, throwing up some wrappers and tinfoil in the house while we were not present. Um, a few days afterwards, and that's after giving her hydrogen peroxide probably two days in a row, oh. trying to get her to pass. So we do think that Harley ended up eating the majority of it. Um, because Does her she... butt look bigger after eating all that chocolate? <laughs> oh, the poor girl is already like, you know, a little wide. Well, and she likes her food. She's an eater. So it wouldn't surprise us if she did end up eating the majority of it and Lucas thinks that she instigated the whole thing and Aslan just ended up eating some of it. Mm, I think, I think Aslan is <laughs> like, I'm tired of you. Hey, you want to have some chocolate? That's what happened. Aslan instigated the whole thing. Aslan's like, uh, here, it's all, it's all good. I'll eat a piece. Well, and then <laughs> an apple. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then a couple of days later, um, the, the, so the mom cat, we think that the mom cat has taken her other two kittens and is living under the house next door to us. Oh, did we tell people that Anna has what, the white kitten that got left? Was that that night? It was. That was, so oh, you so... took the white kitten that got left. Yes. So remember last time, last podcast, the mom left the mom had there were it was a mom cat and she had two orange babies and a white kitten yes the two white the two orange kittens got taken by the mother somewhere and the white kitten was left behind well jesse and anna came over and caught the white kitten and it has been living at anna's house yes because anna's mother-in-law is going to take it yes anna's keeping it i know that <laughs> um, anna is keeping it well so the mom the mom cat we are fairly certain is living underneath our neighbor's house with her two kittens and we think that our neighbor is feeding them well aslan discovered the hole in our fence that was just wide enough for her to squeeze under and she cut herself on her ear and on her back and on her leg. Oh no! And so she squeezed out through the hole in the fence to try and get to the cats that are living next door under the house. She's gotta be like the size of the mom. Yeah. <laughs> she is. <laughs> um, she is. Well, she's a big little girl. She is. <laughs> but the mom cat is skinny. I mean, she's mm. small. Um, but yeah, no, Aslan. It, it's been it's been a it's been a good week. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's I think we've had a full moon. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's been a long week for sure. Um, but in lieu of all that, we do have some fun things that we um, got over the last couple of weeks. Yes. Hmm. Like what? Um, like Anna and I um, were gifted some very lovely advent calendar sock sets. Oh, who gifted you? You did. <laughs> <laughs> it was you. Surprise. Um, it was me. So, so I left mine at home. So y'all are going to get to see. Well, well, you don't get to see. You see, get to, but... you get to see. Um, but they're these little advent kits, sock, sock kits. They came with a little stitch marker and uh, a white mini skein. And then it came in this really cute little bag. Um, came in this really cute little bag. It's, it's from Woolens and Nosh. It's her 2021 advent skein. That is the cutest little bag. And so what she did is she split the skein in half. So they're going to stripe identically. And she left the ends white. And in between each color is a little bit of white. So that way, when you get to the white, you can stop knitting your color for the day. Which I think is super it's fun. so nice. And so I 
have not looked. I looked. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. I I had to look. So because I needed to see if they were going to be for you or for yes. <laughs> so uh, I think that the um, I think that the uh, the cozy knitter I'll make for your dad. And then these are going to be for me. And and also, I will say that this came with a postcard with it that matches this bag. It's yes. so cute. It's mm -hmm. such a cute little, such a cute little set, and I really like it. I think this is a lot of fun. And I'm not entirely certain by the time y'all see this, but right now she has uh, the it's the bits and ends. And there's like partial skeins left over for a do reduced rate. Like you, I don't think you get the bag, and I don't think you get the mini, and I don't think you get any of the little goodies that came with. But you, you can get the yarn. Well, that's fun. Yeah. So go check out Woolens and Nosh. Um, and then over the summer, I um, purchased um, from Night Owl Fibers. Her little Christmas skein set. It's the 12 Days of Christmas 2021. Um, it's a 100 gram skein um, of self striping and then this uh, nice icy blue um, in a mini skein. And I think that's super cute. So I'm going to start these socks soon and for myself. Um, and then with it, um, came this handcrafted wool wash from Woolen and Co. Um, in the sugar plum scent. Um, and it smells very woodsy to me, like a, like a pine kind of evergreen kind of scent. So, um, but it's a, it's a yeah, lanolin, it does. it's a lanolin uh, wool wash. Um, and so it's, uh, I would think that it, I've not opened it. <gasps> Um, well, I saw that Micah was on the ingredient, and so that made me want to open it, and it's, it looks like sugar plum. Yeah. It's um, very similar. I, I imagine that it's going to be very similar to using um, the um, tough woolens that we sock carry, soap. the tough woolen sock soap. Um, because it it, uh, it says indulge both your skin and wool garments in our creamy lanolin infused wool wash. Mm. So I think that it's super cute. I love this little set and then it does, it also came with a little stitch marker. Um, get it to stop shaking there, which is super cute. It's got a little bit of purple and white clear beads on it. Cute. Yeah. So I thought this was a cute little set. I, like I said, I bought it over the summer. Um, she put it up for sale over the summer, and then it came in the day we recorded the last podcast. <laughs> so I've been uh, holding on to this for a couple of weeks. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that day was a full moon. <laughs> it had to have been. Um, and then I do have one more acquisition that I brought with me. There's not much to show, but I'm super excited about it. I'm really excited. I really wanted to do this last year, and I ended up not doing it last year. And then I talked myself into doing it this oh. year. This is... No, really? This is my Dragon Horde um, Christmas, Harry Potter Christmas Advent. Um... And it came in the mail this last week. Um, and she didn't on, let on me see. Saturday, I think, it came in the mail. Um, but it's just this little silver box. And I did open it. Um, wow. And all of the skeins are individually wrapped in these uh, cream white um, burgundy and taupe. Would you call that taupe? So I'm say champagne. Champagne. Um, sateen bags, and then they're all numbered. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, this year, she's been doing it for the last five years, the, the Christmas Advent. She does it with her mom, I think, Kathy from Yarn Cafe Creations. Oh, Christy. Christy? Mm -hmm. Christy from Yarn Cafe Creations. I think they do it together. Um, and they each take half of the colors. 
Um, what's really fun that really was getting me in the mood for it is they do, uh, they base it off of the book, not the movies. Um, and they do it in year order. So this is year five of them doing, doing it. And so this is Order of the Phoenix, which is one of my favorite books. Um, and when you go to purchase the advent, they let you choose which house you want oh, um, for nice. the 25th skein. So your big skein is based off of the house that you choose, and then all the 24 minis are all the same throughout all of the boxes. Is mm -hmm. yours Hufflepuff? No. <laughs> it is Slytherin. You are not Slytherin. I am Slytherin. You just want to be Slytherin because it's green. You're really Hufflepuff. No, I've always been Slytherin. She's you don't know anything about the books. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, too. <laughs> okay, so listen. Jessa left the shop today, but just before she did, she said, look what I got. And well, I told you I was bringing it. I don't remember and that I didn't part. <laughs> told you this morning. So, yeah, hmm. acquisitions. I said I have something that I that I need to oh, bring. Oh, yeah, and that's I'm not true. Sure if I okay. Bring it. So, really, was it because of your mom's reaction? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> so. She left the shop, but she shows me that she got this. And I'm like, ooh, are we going to look in them? And she said, no. And she swatted me. And then... I did not swat you. Well, not at that exact moment. You did end up swatting me. No, I didn't. You so did. You had a little bag and you went... Oh, I did hit you with my sock bag. Yes. So hit... She hit me but I with her. Swat you. <laughs> we don't. We don't hurt friends. We just don't do that, ladies. Does she so, look injured, ladies? Uh, Does she look injured? Oh, it hurts. <laughs> it, yeah, it hurts. <laughs> so, and then she leaves. Okay, but in my defense, <laughs> you said, "Oh, that'll be easy to put back." <laughs> So I, I she mean, did say that. Well, and then Jessica leaves, and then Anna gets a text message, and she dies <laughs> laughing. I was like, well, I had a feeling I was about to get a message. <laughs> she said that, <laughs> and it was, if you look in that box, if you open that, then I will not let you have your birthday or Christmas and I'm present. Like, what What are you laughing about? And so, because, see, they haven't told me any of this. No. Because I feel cheated on. So, and here's the thing. If I had told Lori where it was and what it was. We'd be going through it. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, there would we'd not be would holding us every back. bag. Here's, here's Cause my. Because it's not ours. <laughs> here's my take on that. Here's my take on that. I can't get your advent calendar because it's not a surprise. And I like to be surprised, which is why I have not opened this one. Surprises are underrated. Or this one. <laughs> are, are surprises overrated? Yes. Don't y'all think surprises Ours are overrated? Open within 30 seconds. Oh yeah, like we slit the tape and opened the bag up. <laughs> That's how quick it was. And then we ate the caramels. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how we roll. It is how we roll. It is how we roll. Uh, speaking of rolling, let me tell y'all this story. So, um, was it, so, I don't know, I went to Sam's with my mother-in-law, and I normally, I, I don't, so, oh. <laughs> I don't like pushing a shopping cart. I just remember. It's story. like all germy, germy, and I just, I don't like pushing a shopping cart, so, usually, she pushes it. I have this Well, hair. somebody has to go with you. Somebody so you don't does. have to push the shopping cart. Right. Because I don't like to go to the stores by myself and push the shopping cart because I don't like to touch them. So even if you wipe them, I don't really like it, but that makes it better, but I don't like it. You should put gloves on. <sighs> it's frowned upon. So it is, it's frowned upon. So I go, so I do go and I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of things. So I do get my own shopping cart. And so she's like, okay, well, I'm going to go over on this island. And so we go to the back. Um, I needed to get laundry detergent and uh, 
uh, my dishwasher detergent, and and uh, some downy crystals. You and were overdue for a Sam's run. I was. And so she's like, okay, well, I'm going to go look for the stuff I need. So I'm on the aisle that has all of those things. And so I'm just now grabbing the laundry soap. And there's another girl a little bit away from me, but we're on the same aisle. And here comes my mother-in-law pushing her cart towards me. And she's like walking like she doesn't, like she's just talking to herself. So she says, I just don't know where they put the toilet bowl cleaner. <laughs> and I look over at that girl and that girl looks at me and is like, <laughs> and so I, I did the same thing back to her. And then I put the laundry detergent in my bag, in my basket. And then I started to push off in the opposite direction. My mother-in-law was coming down the aisle this way. So I was coming this way <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know where they would have put the the toilet bowl cleaner lady. And she looks at me like, and then she turns her shopping cart around and she's like, and we just la we laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. I mean, the other girl probably thought we were nuts, nut jobs, but, and then I cannot tell y'all how many times she has told that story. And then she said, lady, it was so funny. It was, oh my gosh, it was so funny. She, the she was The other person crying. was probably like freaks. Yeah, she probably was. The freak is me because I don't like to touch a shopping cart handle. <laughs> Do y'all like that? I don't, I don't like that. I just think it's frowned upon to lick it. Lady. Ugh. <laughs> Why would you lick the shopping cart? Mm. I wouldn't. It's gross. <laughs> that's, that's just gross. But have you ever like seen a child in the little seat part and then all of a sudden they're like No. So devouring. because that thing was covered, we so had that thing covered. <laughs> kids kids do like to just put things in their mouths. I mean, they're just like bleh. <laughs> <laughs> the frosty the snowman advent died and i started i'm on i have to i think tomorrow i will die day four i already had the first three day the first three days of the nightmare before christmas and jessica brought me a big the big golden book of the nightmare before christmas to look at the pictures for some color inspiration. But then they made me watch the movie because I've never watched the movie before. And you need to watch the movie all the way through. You didn't even like I got really... the colors. I got the colors and then I was done. I just I'm... Yeah, she did. She, well she wanted to start without watching it even. Yeah. She was chomping at the bit. Yeah. I was. I needed to get going. <laughs> you got a lot done. So we'll be able to uh, for those of you that ordered our frosty um, advents by the time this video comes out we should have everything um, assembled and packaged and start ready to yeah. start going out on the um, 15th they're shipping on the so 15th. Monday they're supposed to go out by Monday um, we should have them ready to go out no later than Saturday yeah um, so we're, we're very close on that um, and we are um, you've got three colorways dyed for the Nightmare Advent, so anyone that ordered the Nightmare Before Christmas Advent, um, your stuff will be going out no later than the 29th of November, um, but if we can get them finished before Black Friday, we'll have them going out that week. We will. I'm hoping to have them finished. Uh, yes. I got a lot done uh, just in one day. Yes. Three three of the days done so that's I'm, and that was with a headache yes. yes I've had a bad headache all day um so we do have something to give away uh this podcast ah, ah. what I have acquisitions do you I do remember you said 
I did say, but I didn't think that I had seen them. <laughs> That's because they're still undercover. <laughs> um, okay, so I've had these for a few days. Days? Months. <laughs> um, she keeps forgetting to bring them. So this is from the yarn crawl. From the yarn crawl? Ooh. You mean yes. like back in August? Yes. Is that when it was? Yeah. <laughs> then yes. <laughs> um, so I wonder if I got the... Okay, so I don't know if I'm doing repeats. I know that I have some that aren't repeats. But here is Sinful Yarn Blue Obsidian. Ooh, so pretty colors. Uh, I think that one... Is this one that sold out? I think uh, we may have one or two skeins left over there. But that one's so pretty. I love that, obviously. Um, okay, and then Mitchell's Creations, when she yes. was here. she was here for the trunk show. Um, the trunk show. I got three colors. Oh, those Ooh. are pretty, Anna. Yeah, they are. Pretty. <laughs> Very. So, I... What base is that? It is the... Lanya. Yep. Mm -hmm. That. Her soft base. Yes. And so... 7525? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This one is called Aqua. Um, this one is called Cosmos. It's pretty. It is pretty. I love it. And this one is called Blitz. Which we have in stock now. Oh, do we? Yes, that is yes. one of the ones we got it's in. It's one of the new colors we have in. Um, we'll take pictures of those uh, for Lucas to put up. Um, so pretty. And I also got a new um, Portuguese knitting pin, but I Ooh. didn't bring that. I also got a new one. I don't know. Did we get those in last time? Did I show it last time? Mm. I don't think so. Hey, what's that? Okay, so this is what I don't know if I showed this. No, because I've never seen that. Okay. So this is my new Portuguese mm -hmm. knitting pin. It's an owl, and he's holding a little cup of hot cocoa with little marshmallows in it. That's so cute. So cute. I'll take a picture. There's, oh, um, on one of the uh -huh. window fronts for Main Street, there's an owl that got painted on the window. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. Um, okay, so this is, um, this is by that Brew City oh, yeah. yarn. Um, which is no longer in business. Yeah. Um, so it's a hat kit. It looks like a hat kit. Yukon Campfire Hat. Ooh. I just felt that was, it's, I'm excited. Um, and it came with a palm and, um, it was packaged a lot better, but now it looks like, um, Enough. yeah. And then, um, and then Neighborhood Fiber Company. It's pretty. It's blue. Oh, it's blue. Um, is it blue? <laughs> and the color is Old Town East. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So, so, and it's hairy. Really? Surely it's not because of the seven animals you have in your house. Okay. Well, only. Only six of them <laughs> have hair. <laughs> and only five of them are yours. <laughs> and that's not including the fish. <laughs> we do have a lot more fish now. How many fish are you up to? Seven, eight. Wow. Yes. More fish than you have run animals running around. Yeah. Um, so that little white kitty has really been running around. Um, and the only one that actually wants to play with him is my little dog, Maggie. And so he actually will pounce her, um, to get her to play, which she's always willing. Um, and then all the cats are just like, mm, thank you, no, shove off. <laughs> and just like a cat <laughs> yeah and then ivy just is always like giving this little side eye the or this cat the side eye so my big dog she's she's just always like <laughs> but 
anyway, he's been really fun, but he runs around like crazy. So what do you call him? We're calling him Lucy, and then he Short might... Short <laughs> Well, it Lucifer. <laughs> uh, but he looks like an angel. He's not. Well, Lucifer was an angel. Fallen angel. Yeah, but he's a white angel. <laughs> there you go. So, um, I'm thinking that he needs to be named... So, okay, my in-laws are going to probably name him like Frodo or something. And I suggested that his temperament is more like... The name he already has. <laughs> Sauron. Sauron. I'm thinking he should be named Sauron. And my mother-in-law is like, I was really hoping that he wouldn't be part of the dark side. <laughs> Anyway, so that's um, finally my yarn that I have. Um, well, I'm glad you finally remember to bring it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. I always remember it. After she's here. But to bring it. Yeah. It's another story. It's completely different. Isn't that's it? why I texted you this morning and said, hey, you have any acquisitions? I think I had already packed it up the night before. Ooh. Yeah. On the ball. I was More really so trying. I was. Well, I was also up. I've been working on Scott's socks, and I have uh, all of this. All of this white was done, and now I'm into the black stripe again. Good. So I have been making progress. I really want to get these done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he should have those by Christmas. He should. I'm. I'm gonna go a little bit further because this is the heel. What color are you so, going to put in for heel? Uh, I think I'm actually just going to use this and let it, uh, it'll be an afterthought heel, so mm -hmm. I'm just going to let it bullseye. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fine. I mean, that way I can use that literally the whole, the yeah. whole two balls of yarn, uh, the whole skein of yarn. Yeah. So we do have um, another giveaway. Um, so our lovely bag maker, uh, Nikki from sure. Nick Knack Knits, uh, gave us a bag um, for us to give away. Um, and it is appropriately themed. <laughs> um, it is holiday themed. It's got the cutest little uh, expressive Christmas trees on it. That's so so fun. Cute. Um, it is her clear small zipper bag. Um, and it is perfect for a little pair of socks. I love it. Um, just, or any, like, single skein project, really. Um, it makes a lovely little bag. And I love that you can see through it. I love those. Yes. I have yeah. a couple of these now myself. We love like the little bags. bags. Mm -hmm. Super I cute. like that one. Um, and I like this style, too, that I have my mm -hmm. socks in. Yes. This one's a little bit bigger in size than that one. It is. I like that the zipper matches their little tongues. Yes. <laughs> they're they're very detail oriented when mm -hmm. they make their bags and yes, I really like that. She is. <clears throat> um so what would we like for them to do to uh enter for the bag for next time? Well, I think it would be really nice if somebody would give me a really great secret on how to get rid of skunk. <laughs> but that's selfish. <laughs> should we <laughs> should what what should we hmm. what do y'all suggest? Um, well, you could let us know if you have any um, naughty pet stories. Yes. Or you know Absolutely. of any naughty pet stories. We want a naughty pet story. Oh, so I feel like I want to share a quick naughty pet story. Go ahead. Um, this is not mine, but this happened Which to my... Which means it's hers. <laughs> <laughs> this happened to my dad and his Peugeot, which I think had like velour seats or something like that and so this car was in the shop more than it wasn't and then the so sounds like a reliable vehicle mm -hmm. so there was this wiener dog that was belonged to the friend uh, of my grandma's and so my dad and my uncle were taking this dog to somewhere I don't know and the dog had an explosion all over my dad's car inside. Valour. Yes. Well, it sounds a lot like the experience that Jesse had recently. <laughs> Except for it wasn't a tiny poop. <laughs> <laughs> 
on his shirt. It was everywhere. Oh. And then um, oh. the car, I think it I like... I think you'd be able to get back in the car. No. Now. So the car yeah. didn't have air conditioning or something. <laughs> and they had to drive with the windows down and they were trying oh. to clean out that mess mm -hmm. and it stank. CarMax. Hey CarMax, are you buying Peugeot's? <laughs> so this was, um, I think this was back in the 70s that that happened. Yeah, that's so, a that's a time for a new car. Yeah, Ooh, that's gonna have to be someone else's problem. Anyway, so that's that's the um, unfortunate naughty. That is a naughty story. Uh, was that an accident though, or was that on purpose? Because that it can't really. I mean, if you gotta go, you gotta go. But yes, yeah, yeah. Maybe it like didn't have a good car tummy. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Well, anyway. that's a nice way to end a podcast. Yes. <laughs> we You're really welcome. Enjoyed, we really enjoyed hanging out with y'all today. Do. Um, we do. It, it is one of the highlights of our week when we get to sit down and record a podcast. Um, yes. We did, unfortunately, get to record a little late this week, um, and we've got another one coming up that we're going to record late. Um, but it'll still be out on time. We yes. look forward to seeing y'all, yes. um, and spending our hour with you. Um, if you enjoyed the podcast, please, 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 please give us a like on the video and subscribe if you're not already subscribing. If you are on your phones or tablets, turn on notifications. That way you yes. get notified whenever we put up a new video and yes. we don't only put up the podcast we also have our wool on wednesday where yep. we give updates about the shop and i think soon i am going to start doing some tutorial videos awesome. um so whenever we get that rolling then that's great we'll, um, we'll like that tutorial thursday also we're going to be doing makeup monday shouldn't it be tutorial tuesday Oh, we could do Tutorial Tuesday. Yeah, I'm not probably not going to do it weekly. So, we are going to start doing Makeup Monday, which is all about our Jane Iredell makeup and our favorite products. I think that's going to be fun. We're going to take turns, so it's not just one of us, it's or all three of us. It's It'll be a mix. mix. Yeah, we're going to mix it up. Mixed nuts. That'll um, be fun. Hey, I'm not a nut. <laughs> Well, the lady at Sam, I'm sure that you were. Lady. <laughs> <laughs> hey, lady. Um, but that is all I think that we have for today. Yeah, I think I it think is. So. Hey, thank y'all so much for taking time to hang out with us. We appreciate it. We love stitching with you. Yes. And uh, we look forward to your naughty animal story. So um, thank you so much for joining us. And we will talk with you later. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.